For about two months, billboards have been scattered all over the state saying, Gordon McClendon, he's the man. Now they're going to be changed to a new slogan saying, Gordon McClendon, why are all the professional politicians worried? There's been no announcement as to what these billboards mean, but it's generally assumed they mean that Gordon McClendon is going to run for public office, probably for governor. Some of his friends say that he wants to run against Ralph Yarborough, and he couldn't put the office that he's running for on the billboards until Ralph Yarborough decides if he's going to run for the Senate or for governor. This is the Gordon McClendon you've heard of in regard to movie houses, radio stations. In fact, the radio station that he's selling for $11 million. And it's the Gordon McClendon that ran against Ralph Yarborough for Senate unsuccessfully in 1964. But the real story here is the reliable information that we have received that Gordon McClendon actually intends to run an entire slate of candidates. That is, a candidate for each statewide office and a candidate for each of the legislative seats from Dallas County. The purpose of this plan would be to provide for the voters an alternative, saying maybe we should just get rid of everyone in Austin because any one of them might be tainted by the stock fraud case and put in a whole new slate of clean candidates. There's even some indication that McClendon would like to set up a separate party for his candidates to run in. If he's going to do that, we should know it in a few days because this week is the deadline for filing with the Secretary of State a resolution declaring formation of a new party. If he doesn't set up a separate party, presumably his candidates would run as Democrats, which is a rumor that County Democrat Chairman Earl Luna has heard. Or they could wait and file in June as independents and run only on the November general election ballot. Unable to talk to Mr. McClendon today, so we don't know just what his plans really are. But we do know that he has talked about these plans with some friends, and they're certainly not out of character with Gordon McClendon. This is Roger McDonald, Channel 8 News on the Move.